Okay, hello and uh, thank you for joining us again here at Vail's Greenhouse. Today I'm going to talk to you uh, about the old-fashioned uh, way of forcing bulbs in your home. And the reason that we would force bulbs in our home is because our spring starts so late here and we really get desperate for color. And these make perfect windowsill items and um, table items and you've done it yourself. So it's very, very satisfying. But there are some definite tricks to being successful. And unfortunately, most modern homes don't have an area that these plants can be cooled properly. All these bulbs that you see sitting here in front of me need a percentage of time being like it is winter. <laughs> um, and they need to uh, have a slightly dormant period. So the very first thing that we're going to start on here is hyacinths. Now it's one of the first plants that little girls love to draw and they smell amazing. <laughs> and we've got two packages of hyacinths here. Now hyacinths do need a cooling period so you could buy these particular hyacinths now or any hyacinths now and you can put them in your fridge for up to about 10, 8 to 10 weeks. And that's weeks, not days. Remember, gardening is a slow food, not fast food. I say this all the time to people. And you want to um, put this whole bag as is in the fridge. You need to cool it down so that when you bring it out into the warmth, the bulb is tricked into believing that it's springtime. Now, the best way to force a hyacinth is in these old-fashioned, lovely, lovely jars. <coughs> now, we, we have a nice selection of jars. This one has the water in it already. And as you can see, they do come in a different, a lot of different styles. And, the, and you can search the old antiques and junk shops and see if you can find any. Uh, they're fairly common, but nobody knows usually what they are. So you want to, first of all, take the, the one hyacinth after you've cooled your hyacinths in the fridge for up to 10 weeks, between eight and 10 weeks. Take and out you your bulb. And you probably only need one, one, um, bulb, uh, one package, because there is eight bulbs in there. And you want to just put it on the surface of the hole, just like that, okay? And all you want is the end of the hyacinth, the bottom of the hyacinth, in the water. If it is too high in the water, the bulb will rot off. So you just really want the hyacinth to sit in the water. And then they will <laughs> start growing and the roots will all come down. Now there is a little bit of a trick to this. If you're really good and you're a single person and you never really do much in your fridge, you could actually put them in the fridge like this for about eight weeks and the roots will just all grow in here and then you can bring it out and they grow. But who wants a jar of water like this sitting in their fridge for eight weeks? Um, so, and if it gets a bit cloudy or murky, you can just dump the water out and the roots will be fine. Feed the roots back in and um, put fresh water in. You don't need any fertilizer or anything like that. Just pop the bulb in like that. 